What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of The Driving Professor. For those of you who are actually new to the show, I am your hostess, Rashid White. And on this channel, I teach you uh, defensive driving strategies that's not normally taught in the driving schools. So what happens is that people learn how to drive, uh, they, they get their license, and they learn just enough to actually pass the road test, and they roam with that. So I'm, I'm a professional driver. I've been doing this for 22 years, and I teach you what I know to actually prevent you from uh, getting into collisions. And so this channel is actually designed to save you time, money, uh, personal injury, and most importantly, your life. All right, so this one comes out of uh, California over here and it involves a tragic accident where a person was actually uh, killed by uh, slamming head on into a into a, a semi truck in a sense though, so we're going to, we're going to actually show you if you're driving a car, if you're driving a truck, if you're driving a bus, how you can actually prevent ac accidents like this from actually happening. Let's get into the story here. Showing new video of a deadly crash involving a car and a semi in southwest Bakersfield. Take a look at this. You can see a semi headed northbound on Interstate 5 near Stockdale Highway. Then a vehicle crosses over the center median here and hits the semi, bursting into flames. This crash happened around 6 o'clock this morning. The CHP says one person was killed in the crash. No word on why the vehicle drifted off the roadway. The name of the person who died has not yet been released. So, so highway and a vehicle. All right, when, you, when you're actually driving, you want to actually look 12 to 15 seconds ahead. And that doesn't actually mean on the actual same highway that you're looking at. You need to look at everything that's actually happening because things like this can happen. So what happens is that, you know, stuff like this is, is serenity. It's not going to really happen as much as you think. Uh, this person kind of actually had a, a heart attack behind the wheel. We don't know actually what really happened, but if you're looking 12 to 15 seconds ahead, you can see this car is actually uh, uh, spiraling out of control. You can take this truck or whether you're in a car, you can put it right here in this lane. So one thing you want to look at is whether this lane is free of any kind of obstructions so that you actually leave yourself an out and you can actually safely push yourself in this lane here. Now, if you're driving a car, this could have been bad for the person that was in the car, luckily, in a sense, though. But the truck was able to uh, assimilate most of the impact there. And I was reading the comments on this video here, and they're saying, well, you know, that's why guardrails are there. And yeah, it's true. But this is actually out in the middle of nowhere. And the probability of this actually happening is really, really slim in a sense, though. And if it was in the city, you know, you have like, let's say Los Angeles or Sacramento, New York City, uh, big cities or even mid-sized cities where you have a lot of vehicular traffic. Yeah, you would definitely put a guardrail over here, but uh, the probability of an accident happening like this is really, really low. And uh, it's just bad timing on, on, on the truckers part here. And um, we got to look at, I'm just trying to think, think of this other things that can actually be done in a sense though. But, you know, normally this is this not the truck driver's fault because I think it happened in the back of the truck. Not in the cool. front. Crosses over the center. Yeah, actually, <laughs> there's nothing he really can do about that. And I'm just looking at it again. There's nothing he really can do about that. And it happened in the back of his truck. And um, he won't be charged for that. Even like they could say, well, you know, what can you have done to actually prevent this, this type of accident? But hey, listen, the lessons actually still apply in a sense. So getting the big picture, looking 12 to 15 seconds ahead um and leaving yourself an out because <laughs> a lot of times you're not going to be able to bring the truck to a complete stop but there's nothing this truck driver can actually do here and it's unfortunate for the person that was in this car here to suffer um such a, a horrific uh, uh death in a sense though it's really really sad um all right we're gonna we're gonna wrap this video up if you like this video please like comment subscribe certainly share this video I'm sorry that I'm all over the place in, in a sense, though, but I'm watching this in real time 
just like you are and uh sometimes you gotta look at things two or three times to actually get a, a you know a true picture of things though all right peace out